كان نويت الحلم ونويت العزلة نويت الرياضة نويت السلوك لله تعالى العظيم في هذا المسجد أطيعوا الله وأطيعوا الرسول وأولي الأمر منكم discussing before about the that advice is so easy to advise and speak but it's very difficult to advise and taste and <coughs> to taste is what is important nowadays we cannot taste because we cannot taste that feeling of that uh, what we are looking for everyone is trying to learn some something because he wants to feel something uh, knowing about it without feeling it it doesn't give us a satisfaction so still we are looking for something that make us to feel more happy and more uh, uh, tasting what they want us to taste. That's why Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi asked the Sahaba, his companion, he's building them up to, to feel the taste. Now, people come they want to listen because they m missing something. They feel they, there is something missing in their lives. And what is missing in their lives is, is what it is their concern. People might feel that they are missing money, <coughs> they work to make money. People, some people, they might feel they're missing a wife, they marry. People, they might f feel missing to go out in the nature, they go out. Some other people might be feeling that they are missing spirituality. So they come to <coughs> spiritual <coughs> meetings. But if you are missing nature, you go to the jungle, or you go to the forest, or you go to the garden, or you go to the sea, you taste that, you feel it, you see it, you touch it. You, you're missing to, be, to have a wife, you go and marry, you feel that. Or a lady, marry a husband, feel that. You feel you want to make money, you make money, you work, you make money. But everything needs, needs a step forward. So people feel they need spirituality. They come. Some people, they come to spirituality. There are two kinds. Some people, they come because they like that and they want to be spiritual. Some people, they come to get advantage from spirituality <coughs> in order that they can use it for their worldly life, in order to help them to build themselves up on the shoulders of their shoe, their teachers. 
So let us speak about those who are coming really for looking for spirituality. Prophet وسلم, Allah revealed to him the verse of Holy Quran which we repeated many times. In order to reach that spirituality, as we said before in, in the, uh, at the Zuhr time, in order to reach that spirituality, Prophet asked Sahaba what you are doing. Uh, because Allah revealed the verse of Holy Quran, those who are remembering their Lord. الذين يذكرون الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الذين يذكرون الله قياما وقعودا وعلى جنوبهم ويتفكرون في خلق السماوات والأرض ربنا ما خلقت هذا باطلا سبحانك فقنا عذاب النار Those who are remembering Allah mentioned them they remember him when they remember him, means they are going one step forward. We are coming here, we are remembering our Lord. Remembering him by, by mentioning his greatness, mentioning his name. But Prophet ﷺ in the Holy Quran, he mentioned more, Allah revealed more. After mentioning Allah's name and remembrance, when you are standing, lay, uh, sitting and laying down, means in every moment of your life, if every second, if you want really to reach that spirituality, that closeness and nearness, you have to think after you remember and you open you 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 build up what you say the structure the foundation now you want to get the fruit so what was the fruit that prophet وسلم, allah revealed to him in holy quran that he asked sahaba he said wa yatafakkarun they, they think and they meditate, contemplate, focus on the creations of heavens and earth. So that, that, that heavens and earth, to think about them, is what Allah wants us to look for. As we said before, the guide, the guidance for ship is at night is what? Is the North Star, North Pole Star. It guides us that this is North then this is south, then this is east, and this is west. Or this is west, this is east. Correct? One, one star, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it there. Not moving. It's fixed in its place. And during the day, <coughs> How we know east and west and north and, and south? That's why he said what? They think, they contemplate, they meditate about the creation of what we are seeing this universe and earth and looking at seeing Allah's greatness. Allah gave two, two stars. They give us directions and they give us a measure <coughs> calculating days and, and years.
from the sun in the morning, you know where is east, where is west, where is north, where is sun, where is south. <laughs> and at night is darkness. The North Pole appears. Means you have a hope with that light that is shining in this universe. That light will guide you from your darkness. The sun appear and we take darkness completely away because that shining strong on earth, on every individual. So that's why we have these ways Allah showed to us in order to remember him. And that's why he has two ways for him. Two ways that Allah gave to human being if they want to reach Allah's divine presence. Very simple. To achieve something when you are in two ways you achieve something either you feel afraid of falling or doing something wrong so you keep straight forward or through love you keep straight forward both of them coincide at obedience fearing from punishment you move straight forward <coughs> fearing from losing the love of Allah you move straight forward both of them they meet there <coughs> so there are two ways human being in general they missing that uh, concept of love they are on the, on the concept of fear more although <coughs> love is more important but not love not for everyone fear when, when there is a fear in you, a fear in something, you want to overcome it. So it builds courage to, able to overcome it. Psychologically, when we are afraid of something, we want to overcome that. And that's why all of us, that only here, but human being in general always they put in them fear of doing something wrong they will be punished and it is a natural thing because it, you can see it between children with their parents they put in them fear of doing something wrong and what they say to them huh? We ground you. We ground you. A child is, is afraid to be grounded. <coughs> so from out of fear, he will try to fix himself or herself. Fear will reach you, will, will take you to, to the divine presence by fearing, 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 fearing you end up with totally <coughs> ob obedi total obedience. Awliyaullah, they were quicker because there is a short way and there is a long way, long distance. Now you, you go to, to the map quest and you want to get an address, you say, Short way or long way? Short time? Short distance? 
you short us to reach. They give you a certain way. Shortest distance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <coughs> is to love him. Is, is to express that love. Because when you love, uh, will, you will feel that happiness in yourself that emotions and compassion that it will begin to be generated like a generator coming from within you every moment you are feeling that love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this comes rarely not to everyone it's only for those who are really looking <coughs> to reach that divine love. And those, Allah described them as Rijalun Sadakullah Sadaku Ma'ala. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Rijalun Sadaku Ma'ala Allah alayhi fa minhum man qadha nahbahu wa minhum man yantadir wa ma baddalu tabadila Men that didn't change their covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, kept it. <coughs> when they kept their promise, what they have promised, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them <coughs> that manifestation of beauty and love. Because when someone do something good what you give to him, what you do for him, you reward him. It's very simple. <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised anyone that he does good, he will reward him. So Allah is rewarding. Rewarding you from what? To fear him? Or rewarding you to love him? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you that manifestation of love that will overtake you. And at that time you begin to feel the taste that we are looking for. Like parents feel the taste of loving their children so much that Every moment, at night or during the day, they, rem they think about their children. <coughs> they never think, except my, my child My child, what he is doing or what she is doing. in every moment in their lives. But the one who is not married, <coughs> as we said before, doesn't feel that. He doesn't care. The one who has a child, he thinks, I have to work. All, all his mind or her mind is feeling how is going to feed that child to keep him survive? So I have to work, I have to have a car, I have to have a house, I have to have clothes, I have to have uh, people, I have to have this, I have to have that. Everything possible that comes to their mind is for the benefit of the child, nothing else. You do that? You do more because you sing, you like to sing. <laughs> So that's, that's what <coughs> encourage you, that love to that child encourage you to do everything. If you don't have love to the child, you care anything? You don't care. 
You work or you don't work. There are people, I know them, they work one day a week, they make some money to eat and drink, that's it. They don't care for the rest. I was giving them example before. Even homeless. <coughs> they don't care. They don't care. They, that in, in, but they are content. In their lives also, that, that concept of love is what making everyone feeling precious because people love their, themselves. I was in San Francisco, we are crossing three bridges together. And you know, under the bridges they have these uh, homeless, they put that uh, 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 supermarket uh, carts there, they take it, and they put all kind of uh, clothes or food or whatever. And they said, and they, I saw one who is very happy coming to me and say, God bless you. I gave him something, God bless you. I said, where are you? He said, this took my villa, <laughs> look my palace. I looked. He said, I have my bedroom on the first bridge. I have my living room on the second bridge. <laughs> it's, it's a house of two stories. One bedroom, one living room. Under the, the bridges, they come at a point there in San Francisco. They, he has two levels. He's happy. He has no one to care. But parents, why I'm giving the example of parents? Because they know, and most of you are parents, they know the, the importance of love in their lives. So you want really to calculate how much you love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Check if you have love to Allah as you have love to your children. I said before, which, which we, it's a, a basic, a natural thing in the human being's heart. If people come to a teacher or to a master or to a someone because they love us. <coughs> Their love might be more to that person than their real love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> that is, that has two sides of a sword. Because you have to know that the love to the teacher is not your ultimate hope or the ultimate goal. Love to the teacher is important because without the love of the teacher, you, no one will come. That love to that teacher has to go in your life beyond that to take you to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and to love of Allah. Subhanahu wa so people, I believe, and because I am like you, and you are like me, you are old student of Maulana Sheikh Nazim, may Allah give him long life, Amen. and his family. Uh, our love to him is great. We feel it. <laughs> and it's natural, because he is near us. That will show us how much we have a big distance between us and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have to improve that in order to be able to reach that <coughs> level of love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you love your teacher so much and you are at the door of your teacher, <coughs> what your teacher will do? It's very simple. You will see that you will be invited to sit with him at his table or to sit with him in his private time. When your love is not that level, 
You'll be in this area, sitting with everyone else. So it, there is a, 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 a scale So when you have strong love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will be inside there in the divine presence. Allah will bring you nearer, closer. That's where we can feel the taste of love. That's where we can feel what we are speaking about. Till now, we are speaking only expressing a situation but we are not tasting it to taste it we have to build our love and our love how to be built <coughs> by remembrance <laughs> to remember and to love him in every moment in our lives and he stressed the Holy Quran mentioned standing, sitting and laying down. Means in every <coughs> moment, when you are working, when you are sitting at home, when you are sleeping, always you are in that remembrance. And Prophet Wasallam gave his life for that. Allah mentioned in Surah Al-Muzammil. Ya ayyuhal muzammil kum al-mayl. Bismillahirrahman rahim. Ya ayyuhal muzammil kum al-layl illa qalila. Nisfahu aw inqus minhu qalila. Aw zid alayhi wa raddil al-Qur'ana tardila. Inna sanulqi alayka qawlan thaqila. Is Allah is saying, Ya Muhammad, that because you know in cold days what we do at night when we sleep, we cover, we cover ourselves strongly. And we are lazy to go and make wudu and pray for Fajr. Sometimes they ask me, they tell me, oh, what we can do to wake up? We are sleeping. We, we wake up, we hear the azan in Arab countries. We or Muslim countries. We hear the azan, but we want to hear it quickly finish because we want <laughs> not to hear anymore. <laughs> but in Turkey, they keep <laughs> azan after azan. You go to Turkey, I think the Imams are lazy there sometimes. One begin, then you hear the other one, the other one, because too many mosques. Because according to Hanafi school, you can pray Fajr all the way up before Ishraq by a little bit. So they keep calling Azan, <laughs> which is good, make everyone to wake up. But other school of thought one time, all of them in the same time, you don't hear it except one azan. And you have, so they cover. Allah said to Prophet Sallallahu Ya ayyuhal muzammil, the one who is covering. Qumil layla illa qalila. Yani, wake up of night. Little bit, no, not. All night you must be up. Then he lowered it. Half of it or less. Then he said more. No add on it. He said first little bit. Then he said half or less. Then he said more than half. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's for Prophet to wake up more than half of the night means let's to say tonight Aisha at what time 10 30 11 say to 11 Fajr is for something so Allah is saying to say as if he's saying Ya Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for how many hours five hours yeah he sleep two hours and a half and all the rest wake up 
all the day and two hours and a half sleeping. One, to keep in that <coughs> remembrance. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will open the day. Inna sanulki alayka kawlan saqila. We are going to reveal to you something very strong that Allah mentioned in the another surah where he said لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل لرأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون That if we have revealed the Holy Quran on a mountain the mountain will shatter and go and put a powder and that Quran revealed on Sayyidina Muhammad and strong as Allah said in Surah Al-Muzammal, the one before when we said Inna saluti alayka qawlan saqila We are going to reveal on you something very heavy, very strong. And on the other side he said if we reveal that on a mountain, the mountain will shatter. Means Ya Muhammad, prepare yourself. So you are going to get the taste. You are going to feel it. So to feel it, you have to prepare yourself. You have to be waking up most of the night. They say we cannot wake up at Fajr. We put the alarm clock, and then when it rings, we shut it down. <laughs> yeah? You want money? <laughs> So they shut it. I said, okay, it's very easy. Put the alarm, or alarm clock, alarm clock, uh, clock in so somewhere far. So when you want to shut it, you have to go all the way there to shut it. <laughs> then you are up. No excuse. You know, you want to taste? No excuse. If we all here want to taste, there is no excuse. We have to. We have to be hard workers. You want money? Work hard. You want wealth? Work hard. You want nice clothes? Work hard. There is no laziness in Islam. Islam did not say to us, be lazy and we give you everything. No. You work hard. You want rizal? Free? Okay, but work for me, like Virgin Mary. كلما دخل عليها زكريا المحراب كلما دخل عليها زكريا المحراب وجد عندها رزقا قال يا مريم أن لك هذا قالت هو من عند الله إن الله يرزق من يشاء بغير حساب Wherever Zakaria entered her knee, she found provision there. From where? From Allah. But what she was doing? She was not outside on the streets, going from one mall to another mall, from morning to evening. There are women and men. Where you find them? If you lose them, if you lose them, go to the mall, you find them there. Not doing anything, sitting on the chair or on coffee. And today they are sitting too much in Starbucks. What they do there? They drink in coffee. <coughs> what? They are looking in the mall. Okay. Allah did not say, don't have some time for you. But remember that you have to, ha to work hard if you want to taste that taste. And surprisingly, I am seeing most of converts, <clears throat> most of the converts that they Allah guide them to Islam, they are far more better than us in that. Someone was telling me why we are always, as Muslim, we are beaten by your uh, lectures and the converts are being pampered by your lectures. 
It's not. It's the truth. The comfort. <coughs> they. You feel them. They. They are sitting. You see them meditating. You see them praying better. You see them uh, devoted more. You see them uh, more spiritual. And you, you see them more uh, softer. You see them. They feel. Uh, what you say? Uh, Rahma in their heart, mercy in their heart <coughs> to every to everything. I saw before two weeks we were cleaning some somewhere here, and a and we saw a small bird on the floor. One of these ladies, converts pick it up. She was caressing it. <laughs> caressing it, cleaning it, and crying, feeling so merciful to that bird that might be one day of age. And where she has to put it? And then she looked and she saw where is the nest. She grabbed a huge ladder, pull it, it might be 100 kilos, 100, uh, 150 pounds, you saw it, then? pull it, going up, and putting it there. I look at myself, so he said, look, subhanAllah, how much we are, no mercy in our hearts, and how much they have mercy in their hearts. How much we are <coughs> tough and how much they are soft. You can see that. That's how you can uh, know yourself. They asked, there is muscle in Arabic. In Arabic. What did you learn with manners from? I learned it from the one who has bad manners. He asked, from whom you learn the good manners to someone? He said, I learned it from the one who has no manners. I saw what he was doing, bad. I felt ashamed. <coughs> I was doing the opposite. So we see as uh, how much the West, Western people, they have that softness in their hearts. Which you can see in, in Muslim countries, but not as much as you can see in Western countries. That is a fact. If someone wants to complain, let them come and see. Go to Europe, come to America and see. I'm not speaking politicians. I'm speaking normal people. Politicians, they have their own uh, agendas. We, we are not politics, politicians. So that, that simplicity in their lives, that mercy in their hearts, is what will bring them <coughs> to taste and Allah guide them. That's why Allah said, I will guide whom I like. So when we see these converts, we have to know that these people are loved by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because they are being guided. We are raised Muslim. Is that? You didn't, you didn't go the hard way. You went the easy way. When they went the hard way, they showed that mercy in their hearts, Allah guided them. Come out. Come in. And if these people will spend more time experiencing these spiritualities and following this aura that has been given to them and keeping these precious times of Fajr time, praying Fajr and meditating at that time and doing their prayers, they are going to see more than anyone can see, more than us. They are going to hear things more than us. 
They are going to taste things more than us. Because us, we, 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 it, we do it by habit. We've been raised like that. Pray five prayers. We are praying. But they pray on, on, on Aqeel. On belief. Allah guide them to the true belief and they are doing it. That is difficult. And you see them in their societies, <coughs> they are trying to bring each other. What we do, Muslim what they do, not all of them, some of them, <coughs> what they do, they go poison the others. <coughs> they become more radical. Comforts what they do, they bring others to Islam and through spirituality. That's why they are going to get the taste more and quicker than the others. Prophet Sallallahu Wasallam, people, his, his, people loved him. When they loved him, they became stars. That's why he said, Ashabi can my, 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 my companions are like stars. <coughs> they will guide you to the right way. They become stars, like North Star. It should show you where you have to, to go in dark, in dark nights. <laughs> when you achieve your, your, your direction, when you know your direction from the star that is shining in darkness, when you, when you follow that star, you know the north and you know the south, east and west where you want to go, then the sun appears. When the sun appears, you don't need the north pole star because it will shine on the horizon of your heart. That's why the guide is that star. The guide guides you to take you from that darkness that you are in it, from that mud that you are in it, from that dirtiness that you are in it, direct you <coughs> through that darkness to, to, as soon as dawn appears, in your heart, he leave you to the sun, and the sun is Sayyidina Muhammad You will be in that Ishraqatul Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The uh, Ishraqat. Appearances. Appearances of these sun rises. Different suns will appear. Ishraqatul Nabi means uh, different suns prophets has. Every, in every house he put one sun. It appeared to him a different way. So, Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa is the sun of our life. Without the sun, everything on earth dies. Without the sun, all a human being will die. Means without Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa there is nothing. That's why Allah said, for Muhammad I created everything. Ya Adam, you, you, how you knew about Muhammad? He said, Ya Rabbi, I saw all, all paradise, his name is there. On the throne, on the leaves, on the trees, on the, on the, uh, on ever there, I, whatever there is in paradise, his name is there. I asked forgiveness through him. He said, Ya Adam, if it's not for Muhammad, I will not create it anyone. So if not for Muhammad, we dead. We are dead. Let that sun rise in our hearts by guidance from the star of the North Pole of our Shiur, of our Master, that will take us out of the darkness of this dunya, guiding us to the direction of safety where we will reach the dawn where the sun is going to rise and keep rising. Wa min Allahi tawfiq wa hurmatin fatiha.